Hi friends, I'm Lo, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the G735 headphones by Logitech. Just as a disclaimer, I'm not a sound quality professional, I simply wanted a nice pair of headphones to add to my desk collection that were not only functional but aesthetically pleasing. I do want to just make a note as well that my dog is actually in the carrier right over there, so if you hear her rumbling around in there, that's what that noise is. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So you might be asking your guys self, Lo, why these headphones? And I'll be honest, I have a pair of Apple AirPods Pro that I use on a daily basis. However, I had two issues with them. First one being, I didn't think the battery life was that great on them and I couldn't go a full day without at some point having to put them back inside the case. And I do realize that they have a pretty quick charge to them, but it was just inconvenient to have to always put them back in the case for a couple minutes before taking them back out and using them again. Second thing was I experienced a lot of ear fatigue by wearing the headphones, or I guess they're really earbuds, but they would either fall out of my ears at some point or I would start to get pain in my ears from wearing them too long. So these headphones are a great option for me to add to my collection in case of times where I want to listen to audio for longer sprints of time. All right, let's take a look at the aesthetics and the design really quick. First thing I notice about the headphones is the all white design. I feel like this is very rare in tech right now as a lot of headphones and just tech gear in general only come in black, sometimes maybe gray and a couple other kind of fancy colors, maybe blue or red, but rarely do they come in white. Um, I think that that's kind of catching on nowadays, but it's still very much a minority in that sense. They give off a very minimalistic, light, cozy vibe, and they feature these plush ear cups, and as you can see, they're very uh, malleable, very soft, they feel very nice on the ears. The plush cups are actually detachable, so you can actually pull these off and get different colors. You can get replacement white ones, so you can keep your headphones looking fresh and clean, or you can choose to get a, a colored ones with a little pop of color to your headphones. I have the pink ones right here. You can also get them in green and again, replacement white. So if these ever get dirty, you can always buy new ones from Logitech's website. They're about $20 or so, $20 US. And yeah, you can go ahead and customize these headphones to an extent and give it a little personality, if you will. Another feature that I really like about these headphones is the detachable microphone. This microphone actually just pops right out just like that and just slides right back in. And again, it comes in three different colors. You can get a white one, a pink one, and a green one, which is kind of similar to the color of this mat here, but it's a little bit brighter, so keep that in mind. I think it makes these headphones very versatile to have the detachable microphone because you can either take the microphone out and use it on the go for just listening to music, maybe while you're walking, commuting, um, just kind of how you would use an everyday set of headphones, or they can be used more intentionally and productively by plugging the microphone in and being able to get things done for work, such as taking calls, video chats, or even just talking with friends and family. So that's really great. I really like that about these headphones. I will say the headphones feel very well made. It's got this covering that's kind of this faux leather all the way around. The headband is very sturdy. It is still soft, but not quite as soft as the ear cuffs are. It's actually very flexible though. And as you can see, I can kind of pull it in many different directions and I'm not worried about it breaking or cracking, anything like that. They do feature adjustable sides, which have this stainless steel finish to them, which I think gives it a very premium look and feel. And they adjust pretty decently. Um, you can see here, it goes pretty far out. It goes pretty far in. So I think it can accommodate a lot of different sized heads for that. So very versatile set of headphones. Overall, I think they're very aesthetically pleasing and they're great for both casual and professional users alike. So I'm sure you guys are asking yourselves, what about the tech specs of these headphones? And while I'm not gonna go in depth and read line by line every single tech spec of these headphones, I will leave it in the description box below in case you guys are interested in reading that. First things first is I wanna talk about the battery life of these headphones. Logitech says that with the RGB lights turned on, they can last 16 hours, and without them on, they can last an impressive 56 hours. My experience with the headphones personally is they worked well in both modes. I can easily go two days without having to charge them, and that's me using these headphones on and off throughout the day for work, 
phone calls, listening to music, and then just casually listening to audiobooks or things of that sort. Um, I usually plug the headphones in once every two days. Uh, just to top them off and make sure that they're ready for the next use. Another quality of these headphones that's kind of unique is the dual audio capability. And I'll get to back to that a little bit later, but it actually comes with this USB light speed stick. If you guys can see that. Um, and it comes with the extension dongle that can be used to put the light speed stick in places that are maybe a little bit harder to reach. Now, if you have a device that has a USB-C port, like a MacBook or an iPad, you can actually buy a small adapter, just like this, that plugs into the USB port right here, and then you can plug this into the USB-C device, and I will link this in the description below in case you're interested in picking one of these up. One note about the headphones is that on the dual audio, the Bluetooth functionality is a little bit quieter than the Lightspeed stick. And what I mean by this is the native volume on the device that's connected via Bluetooth has to be turned up pretty high in order to hear them on the headphones and then you can more finely tune it with the rocker down here on the headphones. The Lightspeed stick seems to have better volume control and it's just a little bit louder overall so that's something to keep in mind when you're looking to buy these headphones. You can also control which device plays louder and when this is when you're using the dual audio capability only. There's two buttons on the side, there's an A and B button and that controls which audio is playing louder for you. So either A or B. A I think being the Bluetooth setting and B being the light speed stick, but I could be wrong, could be switched around. The last thing that's kind of cool about these headphones in terms of tech is it comes with the capability of hooking into the Logitech G Hub desktop app. And it's available both on Mac and Windows, so whichever you have, you'll be able to access it. This allows you to take better control over the mic settings and the headphone settings. So if that's something that you care about or are interested in that is available to you, you can make the headphone sound more customizable, make the mic sound better. But honestly, I feel like the stock sound and quality right out of the box is good enough for my purposes. The G-Hub also allows you to control the RGB lights on the headphones. By default, they glow this kind of bluish white color when it's on the aux mode. I don't know if you guys could be able to see this, but it's kind of blurry, so I apologize. But you can see they glow this kind of bluish white color when they're in the aux and light speed stick mode. And if I change it to the aux cord and Bluetooth setting, it's a little hard. It doesn't really pick it up on camera, but they glow kind of a white color. Uh, these headphones do have the capability of having aux cord enableability. Down here at the bottom there's a little aux cord button so you can plug in an aux cord but I have a feeling most of you guys are probably going to use the Bluetooth and light speed stick option but it is an option in case you're looking for that. Now that we've got the tech specs out of the way let's talk about how I use these headphones in daily life. I mainly use these headphones for things such like work calls and for work I use them for slack huddles and google meets. I also occasionally use them for zoom calls as well for personal calls that I might have doctor's appointments of that sort. I also like to listen to music and ASMR videos while I work, so I like to use these headphones while I'm uh, working. They provide me good comfort level. I will say they don't have too much of noise canceling ability, so if that's something you're interested in, these may not be the headphones for you. The noise cancellation is okay. It works well for my office, but definitely if you're going to be on a plane or in a very large crowd, these are not going to really filter out the sound or anything like that which again, for my purposes, it's just perfectly fine for me. Second way I use them is for gaming. And this is where I'm gonna come back to that dual audio capability. What I like to do is I like to listen to music and hear my gameplay at the same time. So what I'll do is I'll hook up the headphones to the Bluetooth on my camera or my phone actually. And then I will plug the light speed stick into my game console, which for me is the Nintendo Switch. Another great option to use this for is if you are someone who likes to do a lot of voice chat with friends around the world or just maybe, you know, locally. I will often use it for Discord and again, have the Bluetooth setting hooked up to my phone, have Discord running on that, and then again, plug the light speed stick into my Switch and I'll be able to hear the audio from my Switch as well as whatever my partner or friend is saying on the other side. And let's be honest, this is really nice because when you're going around smashing things, you like to hear the sound effects. At least I do. 
last way I like to use them is for working out in casual use. I think they work better for working out than my AirPods because I don't have to worry about them falling out or losing one of them. I will say though they do tend to get a little bit sweaty just the nature of how they're built. Not built but I guess the material they're made out of. It's this kind of faux leather so it does get kind of sweaty at times. So I wouldn't recommend it for super high intensity workouts, but I like to use them for when I'm walking on the treadmill or using the rower machine. And I think it works great for both of those. In terms of casual listening, I like to use them for longer sprints of listening to audiobooks, music, podcasts, or even just taking longer phone calls. Because again, I experience fatigue with my AirPods Pro. So these are great for when I want to talk to friends for a little bit longer or talk to maybe my international friends. Sometimes I also like to wear them around uh, the house or just out and about so people know for sure that I am not listening to them. All right, so final thoughts. I think these are a decent pair of headphones. They're great for casual and professional use alike. However, they are a bit pricey. Currently right now they're going for about 200 US dollars and you can buy them either from Logitech's website or from Amazon, which I will link in the description below in case you're interested in checking them out. I think that these headphones are for people who are really gonna use that uh, dual audio capability. If you don't see yourself using the dual audio capability, I think you're better off maybe finding a more budget-friendly set of headphones if you're just looking to use them for working out, listening to music, listening to podcasts, things of that sort. If you're looking for something with active noise cancellation, I definitely don't recommend these headphones. I think uh, something like the Bose headphones. I know that brand is very no well, well known for having good noise cancellation. That would be a better option for you. But these are a great aesthetic, cute set of headphones that are great for gamers. Especially, I think I could see gamers using this quite a bit, again, with that dual audio capability that I explained earlier. But again, just for everyday use, I think they're a great set of headphones. I personally enjoy using them, and I think I could see myself taking them on trips with me and just using them for years and years to come. So that's my review of the Logitech headphones, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more content from me, please click over here to see my latest video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.